Hello everybody, welcome back. We're now in episode 12 of our RimWorld Alpha 12, uh, Alpha 15, sorry, playthrough. I think my head's still recovering from the exam uh, business. Anyway, we are in the process of managing our tribes on Randy Random so that we can try and escape this hellhole. And if you remember my previous episodes, we're in the process of essentially filling in these areas here. Um, Mainly so that we've moved our base, basically. Mainly so that we don't get spawns of um, um, underground beasties kind of thing. So anyway, I'm just about to make some trades. Um, I've be already started trading with them and sold off loads of uh, tribal ware and such. There we go, we can buy them back, but I don't really want to. Um, and there, there was one thing that I thought we ought to sell. And that is, there it is, the AI Persona course. I think I'm going to sell that to them and make a healthy 1,539 monies. I'm also going to buy some components off them. So if I buy 17, that'll uh, bode well. Do they have any medicine? They don't seem to have any, which is slightly disappointing. They have got bionic arm. I'm sure I've got someone who's missing an arm. I think we'll leave that. And there's a pain stopper. Anyway. That will do me nicely. Um, last episode, Lee actually had a, um, what do you call it, a heart attack. So let's just check in on Lee, see how he is. There he is. How are you doing, Lee? You've got hypothermia now. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, it's autumn winter. We better change our clothes. Right, so everybody needs to have autumn winter clothing. Right, autumn winter clothing now set. Um, everyone should now put on their parkas and get ready for the cold weather that's a brewing. Let's get rid of that exotic trader notification. And we've got Winnie, a herbalist, who's uh, having a little bit of a wander around. She's having a breakdown. All right, what's the matter with Lee? Lee is very tired, I see. Right, yeah, what I'm doing here is uh, moving or building a new uh, power line so that... I can power these turrets and then they'll basically on the, be on the same line as this one so we can turn off that switch, which is already turned off. Um, there we go, let's reconnect that. There we go, brilliant, because we don't want to be wasting power on those. We've also got, or we did have a faulty battery, but that looks like it's been repaired. Beautiful, yeah, we've toggled power, so let's now recharge this battery. How much does that fill up now? Not sure. Right, Reinstein's filling in the wall, good job, sir. And we need to continue building our new base soon. All right, we might as well remove these doors now. Let's remove that one and that one. Lovely jubbly. Right, what's going on over here? So yeah, over here what I planned to do was uh, build like a dining hall and stuff. So everyone's got a nice place to eat their meals. Meals are now going to be stored in this area here. It's getting a bit dark here, I see. Um, and what I plan to do is, I guess... Yeah, deconstruct all of this and then continue building my base down this way. Then we can have a dining room. Um, but what block shall we use? We've got plenty of granite, so I think we'll make that a granite uh, dining room. Could just make this the entertainment room, I guess. Why not? Let's make it like so. And then another granite one there. And that should be quite good, I think. Uh, what are we doing here? Put that one there. Yeah, make it like that. Lovely. I have a couple of doors everywhere so people can access it easily. Brilliant. So yeah, that's going to be my entertainment room. So my chess table and everything, which is here, needs to be reinstalled over here. We'll have a little chess table in the, over there. Uh, Yes, so this is going to be the dining room and the entertainment room. So we need to build a nice big dining table. And what shall we make that out of? Looks like we need more blocks. So slate blocks, 98 we have of those. Is that enough to build a dining table? Let's have a look. 95, perfect. So we'll make a nice slate long table. And we'll put that, I think, over in this corner there. Starvation, Winnie. Aha! You're recovered now. Oh, God. Sardine hit a trap. Sardine! Sardine has been stabbed to death. Ah! He was trying to escape and he got stabbed to death. Lol. Epic. <laughs> right, lads. If you can, we're going to need some people to haul these out of the way. Otherwise, the doors aren't going to work and enemies are going to burst in. Not cool. Not cool at all. 
Right, let's put another little granite door there. And Winnie's broken down again. Damn it, Winnie. Green's got them uh, food poisoning from berries. Lovely. Just what I always wanted them to happen. Uh, sandstone. I've got any sandstone. We've only got seven of those. Let's see how our stone block production's going. It's not. I see. Who's our stone block producer again? It's quite a lot of colonists to, to manage now. Winnie, aha. Uh -huh. So you're stone kind. Good job, love. Right, we don't we don't think we need that door there. Let's remove that one. We need to put some blocks over on this part of the wall. There we go. What's the temperature outdoors? Minus 14 degrees. Holy crap. Peep's gonna get cold. Where are you off to, Riney? Hauling sandstone blocks. Where? What for? Aha! There's tons of sandstone blocks here. That's pretty neat. 42. Well, dude, while you're there, just grab all of them, mate, if you need them all. You can probably pick up all of that. Let's see. Yeah, that's it, Riney. Build some muscles, bruh. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, God, we've got some rotting corpses out here. That's not good. There's some dead bodies still. Uh, wow, that one's got clothes on, apparently. Oh, no, it hasn't. That one has. Okay. Oh, looks like we need some more um, graves as well. Damn. And what we've got here is a couple of scyther blades, which I thought would be awesome. So let me, if I installed it on one of our characters. So let me see who needs a new arm. Butt cancer! He's missing a right arm. Perfect candidate. Right. Hang on. Right arm. Oh, you can only install it at the end of an arm. That sucks. Oh. Eh. Uh, I don't want to install it on the left arm. That might mean he's pretty much unable to do anything. Well, we don't have any people missing hands, as far as I'm aware of. Let me see. Newton. Min. Green. Yeah, right arm cut off again. Nope. So maybe if we get them simple prosthetic arms, then we can attach a blade to the end of that. thought that would be pretty damn powerful. Hey, party! Yeah, that's it, people. Have a party. Oh, we need some chairs here. Yeah. That would help, I guess. Where was my original dining table? There it is. It will steal some of these chairs. Get rid of the uh, shoddy one. I know they're only wood, but, you know, we're paupers in the grand scheme of things. So. Wow, they're all pretty crap. <laughs> so, uh, I think we have to make do with what we can. Let's make a couple of wooden chairs here. Like so. We'll put some more around the side. I do think we're going to need a ton more wood, though. Yes, and our party spot's going to be in here. Uh, miscellaneous, I believe. Yes, party spot. Put that right in the middle. We'll have a little marriage spot in here as well. This is long-term. Hopefully, this is where I'm going to put, like, uh, statues and stuff that we make. Hypothermia. Wild animals. Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. Oh, sweet. Some rum thrombos. Not rumbos. Thrombos have appeared. Let's tame them. Who is our tamer? We've got Lee working on taming animals. Beautiful. He's 13 at that. Good stuff, Lee. Right, I'm going to fast forward while they're asleep. You know what I've just realised? We need an extra wall along here. Because... Oh, it's going to ruin the, the aesthetics of the base, but heat's escaping when they go through this door. And so inside here... Well, it's probably caused by this thin wall here as well, but inside here is minus five degrees. Thankfully, they got lovely warm clothes. There we go, Reinstein's just built a superior chair. Wooden one, 151 bucks that's worth. Beautiful. We are going to need to chop some more wood though, I think. Let's just get some of these trees harvested. And who is our designated plant cutter? It is Newton! Go Newton, brilliant. Uh oh, hair revenge! 
Oh, green, you brute. Mowed it down. Right, green, that means it's time to come and get some medical treatment in my top quality medical facilities. They're not really top quality, but let's pretend they are. Okay, we now need some more sandstone blocks. Mental break, fire starting spree. Damn it. That ain't cool, man. Uh, let's see, where's that? That's Winnie. Damn it, Winnie. Come on, people, put out the fire. That's it. Good work, team. No one going to put out that fire, really? Come on, there's no time to rest. That's it. Good work, team. Mental break. Damn you, Winnie. We'll have to put you down if you keep starting fires. That's it, Doc. <laughs> they take so long to respond. They're making me worry that stuff's going to burn down. Stab it. Ash and Crow is throwing a party. When's this party taking place then, mate? Alright. Oh, shoddy. That won't do. Oh, come on, people. There's a giant fire here. Yeah, there we go. Prioritize extinguishing fire. Einstein and green. There we go. Quick! The stuff's gonna burn down! No! Oh, God damn it. What was that that's burned down? Something important, no doubt. Uh, not hand tailoring. We've got butcher's table. Is that my stone cutting table? Yes, I think it was. Hey, that won't do. It's not good having it made of wood anyway, to be fair, but you know. What are you going to do? Alright, there we go. Replace the stalls. The stools, not stalls. Uh, build these walls in here. Beautiful, beautiful. So we did have a prisoner that we were hoping to try and... Uh, that we were hoping to try and convert, but it didn't go according to plan. And he wandered off and got killed in the um, traps. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, this stockpile zone can now be moved because we're storing blocks in here. Great stuff. Okay, food. This is a critical storage zone, so let's change that. There we go. God, they're taking ages to build these walls. That's it, Riney. Let's get another wooden chair. What have we got here? Ancient danger. Ooh, nice! Where's that? Quite a far over here. That'd be nice to open that up. Alright, I'm going to continue to set animals to be hunted to try and keep our food stockpiles high. <laughs> Where is he? I can hear you shooting. There he is, green. <laughs> well, if, if nothing else, mate, it should improve your shooting stats, I'm sure. There we go. Why are you not hitting it at all, hardly? The elk is too good for you, bruh. Wow, you still failed. I'm sure it'll bleed out eventually. Lee Nurse is wandering around in a psychotic state. Really trying to boost their moods here, but it's not really working. Alright, Winnie. Uh-huh. Yes, you're doing the block uh, transformation. Ciara! Where's... Where's Alfred Skips making pemmican? Because they were eating raw meat. No wonder they're going crazy. Until break days. Let's see what that is that's causing the problem then. Needs. Innocent prisoner died. What? Well, this is what me and my girlfriend don't understand. How can you have an innocent prisoner? It's not like... Well, I guess you can. But, I mean, that prisoner, for example, it's not like he came in peacefully. Hey. Here's my stonecutter's table. What was this then? That's definitely not a stonecutter's table. Uh, research bench. Sculptors? No. Anyway, a Navy scientist named Steg Noel, I love the name, sounds almost Nordic, uh, calls you from nearby. She is being chased by pirates from Mantis Plain. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, she's 37 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on her tail. Hell yeah, we're going to offer her safety. Oh god, she's bold like a Gail Porter when she was younger. Uh, artistic, though, and trigger happy. Hells yeah. Welcome to my colony, Steg. Never going to remember that's a woman. 
Autumn Winter, Drug Policy 5. Right, and now we need to fight off the, uh, the Raiders. Okay. So, what's everyone up to? Here we go, let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, hell yeah, they got some weapons for me. Brilliant. Right, you lads stay there while I maneuver everyone into position. Rainy, man this. Um, we want to designate toggle power and we want to bed rest. Uh, right, Min, you can flick that. Green, come with me, that minigun's gonna come in immensely handy. Action Crow. Alright, prepare for engagement. I don't know what this guy's doing. Renata, he's wandering around this way. Melee attacking granite door. Good luck with that, sir. There's a bow there. Lovely. I think I left that there last episode. Right, the rest of them are coming around this way. We've got our crew ready for the fight. Steg, you definitely need a weapon. So, for now, we will give you ah, the normal bow. And there's Min. All right, Min, you come down here as well. And there's Steg. Perfect. Right, Steg, prepare to defend. Right, Lee, you've got a bit of a problem, mate. You're kind of in the way. I think you're going to get shot. Here we go. They're through the first walls. Who have we got, first of all, coming up? Ah, oh, triple rocket launcher. Yes, and he died straight away. Superior triple rocket launcher. That's going to be worth some money. They're fleeing already. So we managed to get a shotgun out of that and a charge rifle. Beautiful. Right, now to see who is eligible for such fine weaponry. I think Reinstein, you should get one. Alfred, no. Ashen Crow definitely needs... Actually, if I get Reinstein to have the shotgun, Ashen Crow's got better shooting, so you have the charge rifle. Uh, Alfred Skips could definitely have the Plasteel Gladius. We've got Winnie, Min, all right, and the rest of you. Unfortunately, I can't give you any better weapons, but that was swiftly dealt with, that uh, raid. <laughs> Pretty damn easy. There we go, we've got a pistol there now. So, Min, how's your shooting? Two, Ciara. I think we'll give that to Steg. Colonist needs treatment. Damn it, Newton, you're going to freeze to death out here. Minus 14 degrees and you're wandering around in a daze with your top off. Dude, that is not sensible. All right, let's get Alfred Skips to come over here and cook some uh, lovely, lovely food for us. Pemmican all the way, buddy. Pemmican all the way, come on. He's having to go all the way over here, though, to grab the vegetables. Hmm, all the berries. All right, if everyone can help out, that would be lovely. So let's do that. Timberwolf Revenge. Oh, shit. Green. Dude, you might be better off just standing there fighting. Oh, no, you might be able to outrun him because he is bleeding like crazy. Don't stand there and let him scratch you, you fool. Green. Oh, God, green's down. Reinstein, come and rescue Green. Hey, what's that? Caribou? That's probably mine. Uh oh, he's maddened and manhunting. That's it, Riney. Shoot him in the face. Okay, Steg, you come over here and rescue Green. Riney, to the medical wing. Newton's already receiving treatment for, wow, extreme hypothermia. What's the temperature in here? Minus 12. Oh, shit. That ain't good, dude. Come and get some clothes on. He cannot walk. 70%. He's got frostbite there. How am I going to get clothes on him? Why is it so cold? Ah, because of there. Um, alright, what's the best way of dealing with this? Uh, 
probably building a temporary heater, I would imagine. Alright, so I can come and work on this really quickly. Oh no, this isn't going to work. Probably building a door. Uh, butt cancer, can you build that for me? Come on, Newton, hold strong. 79% hypothermia, 80%. Buck cancer's gone crazy. All right, Ash and Crow, you take over building this quickly. No, Reinstein, you do it. Here we go, you're a lot quicker. That's it, buddy. Newton, no longer incapable of walking. Brilliant, run, go get some clothes. Harvesting pine tree, seriously? Dude, you need some clothes. Come here. Let's get you some trousers. And a nice parka. And a nice t-shirt. There you go. You're suitable to go out and, you know, harvest stuff. Right, this heater we will grab and reinstall over here, methinks. Dining room is slowly taking shape. Ah, Steg's got nowhere to sleep. Whoops. We'll build another little bed for you inside here. And they're all sleeping out in the cold now. Uh-oh. Green's got an infected in the neck. Ugh. Okay, who's my best doctor? My best doctor may be... Winnie. Definitely you, Winnie. Come and help out Green. Yeah, the temperature's a lot better in here now. Great. Uh, how are we doing for food? We've got some pemmican left over. Great stuff. Yeah, and now these beds need reinstalling. So, for now, this is going to be our temporary sleeping quarters inside this little underground bunker. Let's grab that one. <laughs> Doctor's got a double bed all to himself. Cheeky. There we are. And we've got a mad animal. There. A local raccoon. Careful, everybody. It's coming for you. Where's my team? There he is. Newton. Uh-oh. What the hell is Newton doing? Newton, you need a weapon, dude. What do we got available here? And we, the best we can offer you, if you choose to accept it, is, there we go, a good bow, a good quality bow. Oh no, the raccoon's following him. <laughs> Run, Green. Punch it in the face. Actually, Green, what are you doing? You're the one with the infection. Alfred Skip, no, not Alfred Skip's. Butt cancer to the rescue. Oh, green, you brute. You need, we need to get you back to the medical wing. Damn it, dude. Oh, I see you failed building. Right, what have we got? We've run out of blocks. Uh, slate. That'll do. We'll fill that in with some slate. There we are. Good job, Ryanie. Well done, son. Right, Ash and Crow, we're going to need to relocate your um, research table too. Now, if I build a high-tech research bench, it's going to take 10 components. I don't think we can handle that. So it's going to have to be a simple one for now. And that will have to be made out of wood, I think. Yeah, so we'll put that in here. We need some power running alongside this wall to keep it all uh, ship shape and looking good and we're also going to need a little horseshoe pin methinks here now I don't think I have enough cotton to build us a just taking a quick look here to build a uh, pool table no no I don't bit annoying but ho hum all right what else is going on what's Reinstein up to consuming pemmican 
Oh, man. That's one of the annoying things about having your builder who's got, like, a ruined stomach. He's taking ages to actually do anything. I'll tell you what we're going to do, then. We are going to reallocate Newton to help out with the building for a little bit. Bulk goods trader. Yes, where did they go, then? Are you over here near my base? Nope. I think I missed that. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Green, yeah. How's your infection going? 82% immunity nearly. I think you're going to be fine. I think you should pull through, which is uh, heartwarming. How are we doing for food now? It's only 11th of fall. 415 berries. 472 caribou meat. And Jesus, we are short on food. All right, we might need another hunter then. Um... Dig, consuming pemmican. I think we'll get Steg helping hunt. Yeah. And that should help us out. Um, I wonder if there's any berries we can harvest as well. It's going to take ages though. Damn it, Timberwolf revenge. Steg, run! Quickly! Run, 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 run! Where's Lee going? Refueling fuel generator, that's fine. Winnie. Min. Yeah, let's get Doctor out here to fight off these wolves. Quick, Steg! Quickly! Bloody animals hunting us all the time. They're tearing her apart! No! Steg's down! Quickly, Doctor! Stay there. Fight. Damn you, Timber Wolf. Run! Get through the door, Doctor. Rheinstein shotgun ring. Uh, yeah, we need to rescue you. Um, we'll be over there in a minute, Steg. I think Ash and Crow. No. Okay, Lee's going to rescue you. All right, cool. Lee's mad hunt, man hunting. They're melee attacking Doctor. Melee attacking Reinstein. All right, Reiny can handle this. Go for it. Oh no, he can't. Yeah, he did it, Reiny. Okay, up here with me, lad. Into the uh, medical bay. Looks like we might need a temporary medical bed for the Rhiney. There you are, mate. You sit in there and heal up. We're running out of pemmican again. Damn it. Where's Alfred? Feeding pemmican to green. Are you, like, doctoring? Aha! Uh -huh. I can't afford for you to be doctoring. Come on, mate. Come over here and start cooking. Steg needs rescue. Oh, god damn it. Bud cancer out here, Newton. I'm gonna send out the whole army. These animals must pay for their crimes. Don't worry, Lee, we're coming, bro. Cargo pods. What have we got there? Ah, potatoes. All right, Ciara can go and haul some of them back. Where are we? There we are. Damn it, Lee's... These freaking animals are tearing me apart. I bet Lee you're going to die, mate. You've already had a heart attack. Right, Green, Ciara, Alfred, Ra... Not Reinstein. Doctor... Ash and Crow, you come and help me. You come and rescue her. That's it. Buck ants are going to cut you up. There we go. Good work, team. Right, Min, you grab Lee. Or butt cancer. Winnie, you come with me. We've got another injury. Jesus. Uh, Alright, we're going to need to whack a little sleeping spot in here. Medical again. Winnie, jump in there. And all oh, my doctors are where? Mostly injured, I see. Right, Newton's coming to the rescue. He's gonna heal you with his magic healing hands. How's Green now? Are you recovered? 
Yes, developed immunity. Perfect. Einstein warriors fully healed. Winnie's consuming milk. Fair enough. Let's haul some berries over. Get rid of these sleeping spots. And the beds are being moved slowly but surely, so uh, it's a little bit warmer inside there. It looks like that needs to be double walled as well. So let's grab some slate. Slate there. Escape pod relationship. We'll have a look at that in a second. Give me a moment. Uh, slate here. Put that one there. Right. You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. You can rescue them and send them on their way, or capture them for recruitment or slavery purposes. Tomoko has a relationship with a colonist. Colonist. She is Newton's sister. Sweet. Tomoko. So if we we can capture her, eh? Ah, we need a prisoner bed. All right, all right, we got this. So prisoners can sleep in here temporarily and you and why don't you go and rescue your sister where did she go there she is all right Newton going to rescue his own sister that's got a nice ring to it methinks Okay, and with that being said, I think we're about at the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it as per usual. Um, I'm doing my best to keep us alive, and it looks like we're, we're, you know, our numbers are going up. So, all in all, things are looking good. I'm gradually filling these in, although it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I think we can destroy that table now. Have we got our new research bench yet? Uh, yes, we do. Great stuff. So we can also destroy that. We'll reinstall the little uh, seat there. Uh, oh shit, Steg's got a disease. In two places. Holy crap, Stegosaurus. Minus three in there. Um, Winnie, you were the good doctor, weren't you? You come... Yeah, Stegosaurus reserved by Lee. Alright, that's fair enough. Yeah, so that wraps up the end of the episode, guys. Hopefully you will join me for the next one. Uh, let's see what we're doing with this person here. Gear, gets food. What did I put? Did I put capture or rescue? Can't remember now. Anyway, not to worry. Um, my brain's still a bit all over the place from my studying exertions, but yay! I passed 85% when I needed 70. I kicked ass. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you will. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Mwah.